Hi, my name is Leighton Jin. I'm the Director of Development for the American Documentary and Animation Film Festival, which is starts this week on Thursday, uh, March 21st to 25th at the Palm Springs Cultural Center. Today we have a very special guest, Pepe Serna, a Hollywood legend in front of the camera. But for this, uh, for our film festival, he's working a little bit behind the scenes as an executive producer of a film, Shura. So, Pepe, can you talk to me about being executive producer of Shura and how you got involved with this film? Yeah, I've been um, working with with uh, David Damien Figueroa and Kayvon and Derek Shanian. Uh, the two, two co-directors uh, have been, I've been working with them with, with my documentary and my, and uh, a short that I did with Kayvon. And and uh, I got to see at an event when uh, David Damien was a farm worker justice, when Shura uh, uh, spoke and was awarded, uh, get, got an award for the work that she does. So then um, that night we just said, "Hey, let's let's make a documentary about this." And uh, Kayvon and and uh, David were going to decide to be the co-directors of it. And I said, yeah, I'd love to be the executive producer. So uh, just going down to the border and watching them uh, do what they do, I mean, what the Good Samaritans do was just awe-inspiring. Mm -hmm. oh, and it's an important story, especially coming into an election year. Can you talk about um, what was it about Shura that, at that speech you made? What was it about her that, that clicked for you that said, we need to do a story of her. The, 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 the fact that she then was an 81-year-old uh, black belt in karate, uh, <laughs> uh, Berkeley uh, uh, lady from, from uh, when I arrived in Hollywood. Today is my 55th year. 55 wow. years ago today, I landed in, in Hollywood. Ooh. And, um, Happy so anniversary. She, yeah, she was uh, um, up in Berkeley and doing stuff with with uh, the homeless and just doing things for 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 humanity, and and that's been my my uh, uh, mantra from from the beginning is just uh, being being uh, so. Uh, I, I just came up with one today, and I can't think of the the term. But I said, you know, I've been. I've been uh, so I, I I was born rich, and 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 uh, just because I, I life is so incredible, and to see somebody that is of like mind, but actually in the trenches, I was going to do it through through film and and my altruistic uh, workshops and stuff. But she was there working with the people, and mm -hmm. we said, "Wow, this is this is amazing." Then I got a chance. Uh, in, a, in a few questions from now, and I'll let you know how I got down to the border. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think she's a great story. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm actually from that area, from southern Arizona, Tucson specifically, and I had friends who provided humanitarian, humanitarian care along the, the Arizona-Mexico border, and so when I heard about her, it reminded me I'm my friends, and I think I think it's great that you guys are doing a story on them because you know they they look at the humanity that's involved, not just the rhetoric that we have. So yeah. I've been very appreciative to to have it. And so you made it down there to Arizona. How was it? Oh Where yeah, well, well, I had been down there. You know, I don't know if if you grew up there or what, but my, oh, my brother, Enrique Serna was um, a county manager there oh. for all of Pima County, and he was a. Uh, manager of South Tucson uh, oh. several times. So he's been there for, uh, God, a long time. He's been he's been there uh, over 40 years. And he went to school there and just stayed there and uh -huh. worked with with the people. And and uh, but but going down there and I brought my documentary and stuff down there and, and saw and, and I've been I went and did workshops at schools before and I went again uh, uh last year and just seeing that it's it's a community that is uh you know uh old you know it's an old mexican 
community, yeah. right? Like so, so much of uh, of the Southwest is, but uh, with the onus of of you know that came into the 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 far right, uh, mm -hmm. wanting to 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 um, uh, dispel. I mean, not dispel, but to to uh, uh, denigrate mm -hmm. anything that has to do with with um, the altruistic uh, things that we as human beings are supposed to be doing as as Christians, we mm -hmm. say we're doing, but the good Samaritans are for me the the true Christians that are doing good for humanity. It's not about sneaking people over the border and and pulling one over on the country and the company, the the country, uh, mm -hmm. they, they, the, the, the right uh, preaches that, Hey, they're coming in to take our jobs to do this, that, and the other. When in mm -hmm. fact, uh, Americans don't want to do the jobs that immigrants do. Mm -hmm. They, they can't do them because they're not built for it anymore. They're mm -hmm. their grandparents and great grandparents were because they were the same people that are now coming over the border from the South. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It's just a person is a person. And right. when we come, we come to work. And all those honesty, integrity, respect, responsibility, all those character education things that we grew up with have gone by the wayside. And now it's it's uh, just get your story across, just get your point across, and to heck with everybody else. And when we know we need we need mm -hmm. Republicans and Democrats and independents. Mm -hmm. We need it all. And mm -hmm. we can't just think that everybody's the enemy. We're all playing in the same games and mm -hmm. we're all in, in the same life together. And that's what uh, is so beautiful about these people that come from all over the co country. And they, I'm talking about the Good Samaritans there in, mm -hmm. in Valley. Mm -hmm. And they're not there a year round all of them mm -hmm. some of them are uh, there year round but a lot of people come in and and uh, but they bring their their goodness with them mm -hmm. and and uh, take their experience back uh, of seeing what happens on the border the, mm -hmm. how, how in need the people are for water and just uh, just nourishment right right i mean it's interesting because i remember when they started talking about border issues and stuff like that it's like oh should be worried about my family there. And then I travel there and it was just like just business as usual. <laughs> Let's not right. talk about an escalation. And I, I don't know the numbers. I just know living in Arizona or visiting there frequently. It's just, it didn't really, I mean, maybe everyone has a different perspective on it, but my perspective was like, it just was a little bit counter what I saw, what I was reading, but that's beside the point. <laughs> but, um, what did you think about the job that David and K Kayvon did with the film? Because I mean, you guys were you guys were uh, you guys were in the running to get a, on the short list for the Oscars, and I've seen the trailer. The trailer looks fantastic. What did you think of the, the final product? Uh, just incredible. And now, and now we're um, looking at raising uh, more money to do the the, the full version uh, because it's so. It's so important, you know, as, 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 you know, uh, as all your show, all, all, all the, the, the interviews that I've gotten to see that, that you've done with the different filmmakers that are coming into this festival. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, it, do you have like a YouTube channel or something that people can log into just because I think, I think these interviews that you're doing, mm -hmm. I mean, I was just uh, so amazed at, at oh. At the different people oh. that that are not only the what they're presenting, but who they are and where they come from, mm -hmm. and and the the what they've accomplished already in their lives, and that's mm -hmm. part of what what I do with my motivation is that I, I like to tell the kids because I work a lot with with younger kids mm -hmm. to tell you know that you say I want to be a writer, I want to be a director, I want to be this that. I said, no, you already are. You already <laughs> are that. And where right. you are right now is incredible. You're mm -hmm. awesome. You know, mm -hmm. all you have to do is just stick to it. And mm -hmm. and not that you have to stick to one thing. One mm -hmm. thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, and it just grows. And that's how you grow as a human being. And mm -hmm. that's why 
I know I started off as a three-year-old wanting to be an actor, wanting to perform because people mm -hmm. laughed and, and I got recognition from that. And, and I know playing games, I, I love sports and I mm -hmm. can still, I can still take a fall and, 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 you know, knock on wood, not, not hurt myself because <laughs> I have that muscle memory. Well. And so the muscle memory is not only in our, in our muscles, but just, just, just right now, as I was, as I was uh, getting dressed and mm -hmm. was washing my hands and, and I went and, and my sleeves were, were like down here, but just automatically, I just, I just, I just did that to make my sleeves go up. I didn't think about, oh, how I don't want to get my sleeves wet. I got to, should I roll them up? No, it was automatic because it's just muscle mm -hmm. memory. And that's how we do things. And that's mm -hmm. how, why, when we see, uh, when people come to see your your documentaries that you're doing, which is just, just incredible, everything is just, just as important as the Oscars. I mean, this is really almost more important than the Oscars because this is about the people who are coming to watch. This is more who they are. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, big Hollywood, all that uh, mm -hmm. you know, is this, ah, you know, all that glitz and glamour. But that's mm -hmm. not what life is. Our, right. our glamour is just, hey, uh, you know, uh, cleaning up, you know, and, and <laughs> getting dressed and going out and meeting, seeing people, but but seeing the programs that you have and, and going, I put it akin to just going to the border and seeing the different kinds of people that are, that are coming there. And, and when I was there, uh, I, I, I wasn't seeing them come on over across. We were just bringing water to them because they couldn't cross yet. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what, that's, that's what this festival is to me. This is, this is, kind of a, a immigrants, right? <laughs> I mean, showing uh, this festival, that's what festivals are and people don't realize the jewels that are here and the motivation. I mean, the one young lady from, from China who was a pianist and now Ryan. she's meeting, but then she's not only was she a pianist and was and got her master's degree and now mm -hmm. she's learning how to make uh, documentaries and how to edit and mm -hmm. she's starting like a, a, as an editor, as a, a ninth grader, if they were in a, in a film uh, class in school, is starting off with that kind of an, uh, ambition. And, right. and to watch her have that, it's all childlike. How can we stay in tune to that, ah, you know? <laughs> well, thank you very much for saying that. I think the, the film you're talking about is Duet, which... Uh which was a great interview and uh yeah i mean we'll give a shout out to teddy teddy picks these films um i just we just kind of uh kind of pick <laughs> it's kind of random who we pick but they've all been they've all been amazing with amazing stories to tell and a lot of different kinds of story and i agree with you i think the special effects we have in our festival is truth and truth is important in this time of day and age and i think that's what ours I'm a journalist, and I feel like this is a this is a great relation journalism and documentaries. Obviously, journalism is struggling, as we all know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I I believe I believe in documentaries as a as a pathway for a lot of these journalists because sometimes they just lose their jobs for various reasons. But they all have stories to tell. They have stories to tell that sometimes they couldn't tell when they were journalists. I know I had limited time and space to tell stories but i want to dig deeper but you just sometimes you don't have time so i help people who are in my situation who might have lost their job in journalism will make the transition and tell some of these stories because some of them have stories to still tell and they're amazing and they have they have the connections they have the resources and they're skilled storytellers so i hope um i i just want to see this this festival grow in terms of a lot of things because you know it introduces to a lot of amazing people that that aren't movie stars, but are out there, like you said, with Shura in the trenches and making a difference in this world. And, and there to be, we need to shine a light on them and celebrate them. So I, I appreciate you saying all this. Is yours uh, more about documentaries? Do you do short films as well? Or is it more Well, about... the documentaries can be anywhere from three minutes to feature length. So it's, mul it's multiple. So a lot of people 
such as Shura, they, we have a film fund. So if you have a shorter documentary and if you want to expand it to a full, you can go through our film fund, put together a pitch, and then you can get some money to make it a feature length to help support it. It mm -hmm. won't fully fund it, but it will certainly help. I think we give yeah. out some very yeah, generous grants. And that's what people don't realize. There's money out there to mm -hmm. do the different projects that, that you have in mind. And mm -hmm. mainly when you're concentrating on others, uh, is when more good comes to you. Right. You take it away from yourself, even though you have to fight like like crazy to get to get that done. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's wonderful. I mean, it's like seeing you at the other event the other day, and right. and in a totally different uh, uh, place and in time. And people are passing by and and watching you do what you're doing there. Have no idea who you really are. You know, and 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 I, and I'm saying that because because I was sitting not too far from you, knowing who you are, and yeah. say, and, and and saying, oh, the people don't know, the, the oh. people don't know because things went wrong, and <laughs> and that had nothing to do with you. And I heard people at my table. Well, why is he sitting there? I, that's not his. That's not his. That that's somebody else's job. But right. you know, we put we want to point. When there's something wrong, we all want to point fingers at somebody. But when somebody something goes right, we forgot to shine. We forget to to point fingers and shine the light and say, "Oh wow, this is amazing." And that's right. what uh, that's what what I like to do through improv is uh, the yes and adjustment. Is how do you how do you uh, celebrate others? You mm -hmm. know, uh, because we're all in the rat race of of doing ourselves. But I just I noticed you since I've been talking to you and watching you in real life uh, at a different, like that different event that, that mm -hmm. it's not, it's not, you know, you're, you're, every job is a different job and everything is a different discipline. Yeah. And, and it's why all these things are so important, the different people that are doing these documentaries that are so gifted in so many other ways. And they just do this because it happens to mm -hmm. catch a, a spirit in them mm -hmm. that hey, you know, I, I've got to do this. There's something about it, and mm -hmm. uh, it's just amazing. Uh, yeah, we. I, I mean, I, I appreciate the stories that we tell and the people we expose people to. I've learned about a lot of things just doing these interviews with some of these filmmakers. Just before you, I interviewed a guy who talked about his mom, who was a really celebrated artist in in the app in Indiana. It was a beautiful story, and. Uh, I haven't seen and I haven't seen the film yet, so I'm 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 excited. So I appreciate you saying that. And the event, we'll just say that I, I help out with the nonprofit with Rosie Casals. It's uh she's a tennis pioneer, and so I met Pepe there, and I've known Pepe for a lot of different events. And uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> we had some we had some challenges that night, <laughs> but it was it was still a wonderful evening. Oh, we, we, we eventually got things going. It was just I, there's a couple of AV things that were out of our control, but. Yeah, you know, but to watch, yeah, to watch Pan Shriver and I, and they okay. heard that was my first event with him, mm -hmm. and she's just, I mean, she's a sitcom. She's she's <laughs> a she's a force, uh, uh, a human force that is so, it's just brilliant because as brilliant as she was as a as a tennis player, mm -hmm. as she is as a as a human being because mm -hmm. we're all different, and that her. Uh, her personality just lends itself. Uh, she could do, she could walk right into any one of those talk shows, any one of those uh, uh, game <laughs> shows and just be instant, instant brilliant because she is that. And, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it's just fascinating for me to see people like that, that I see all the time mm -hmm. that, aren't, that aren't usually the stars of, right. of you know, right. and, I, and I spot them because I'm looking for them uh, mm -hmm. always to, to I, I like uh, to give pep talks, you know, yeah. <laughs> I like to, to encourage people to let, hey, there's eyes on you. So somebody right. watching the good work that you do because <laughs> people don't pay attention to 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 the grips and, and the sound and, and the camera. It's all about the stars. So no, right. it, it's all <laughs> a teamwork and it really is teamwork and and that's not celebrated enough in, in life to let mm -hmm. people know that success 
it's not about that that glory and the money and and all the you know the the cars and jewelry mm -hmm. I, I heard this guy if you have a second uh i forgot it was somebody just on facebook and mm -hmm. he was talking about going with his friends to a party and this guy was uh he forgot his jewelry mm. so he didn't go out and then and then <laughs> the chase he had it overnighted and the next day he put his jewelry on he says i'm back <laughs> wow interesting you know, <laughs> that, that, that was who what was on the outside was what he thought was but it's 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 not i mean it's yeah. it, yeah. it's oh what, i believe yeah, it's what these I believe that too. About. Now let's let's talk about you a little bit. Now, unfortunately, we don't have your documentary at the festival, but there is a tremendous documentary about you. Uh, Pepe Cerny, Life is Art, and the trailer's magnificent. And uh, I think people might best know you from Scarface. Yeah, where uh, you you had maybe one of the most famous death scenes where uh, a drug deal gone bad, and then in the bathtub, someone chops you up with a chainsaw yeah but, uh, yeah, but yeah. that's just one thing that you've done you've been in a lot of uh famous movies and been in a lot of roles like I, I grew up with the jerk one of my favorite comedies growing up and you were in that you uh i think we were talking before we came on air you were on uh uh miami vice a few times is that yeah, right Miami Vice and all, all the all those old tv shows uh the <laughs> hilton blues and just it just went on and on and it, and it was uh it, it's been great i mean I, I was telling you today is 55 years ago that i got here That's and I, I my first week i got right into an improv group uh -huh. and i was homeless uh for i was had a place for my first six weeks and then after that i was homeless but i was never homeless in my heart and soul and in, in my mind I, I just didn't have an address that you could send a letter to well, I did. I, I had an address you could send a letter to, but that, that was it. But 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 I was this this big sky, you know. This how can you be homeless? Well, for me, this was my dream, and so that's I knew where I was coming, and and I was here, and I've always and it just it was interesting because I was living in Mexico for a couple of years before I came here, mm -hmm. and I had uh, usually one meal a day, uh, mm -hmm. but but it wasn't. I didn't even look at it as one meal a day because I I never had a a food issue. I, I've never had, I don't go hungry somehow, you know. So, but it was a five course meal for eighty cents in nineteen sixty seven. Wow! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. So, so getting here was it was easy uh, to do that, but it, it's uh, uh, so because this is this is my the my book. Uh, yes. Pepe said, "My life is art," and and it's um, and it's the same title as, as the the documentary. And it's mm -hmm. to get the reason I did is say the legacy is about getting to the schools and doing the improvisational workshops that I do and teaching kids how to connect, communicate, collaborate, mm -hmm. which is what life is all about. They said, "Are you trying to create actors?" I said, "No, I want." For people that we're all going to be selling something, we're all right. work for somebody, do something. So, how do you represent yourself? Represent whoever you're working for in the very best way, and 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 the thing is, is that you're never going to be selling anything. Mm -hmm. What you're going to be doing is is looking at somebody in the eye, and that's what the improv workshops are all about: is connecting, looking at your eyes, and watching, and just and and understanding that what what do you need what do you need and let me see what i have that can help you and okay uh, and and what color would you like though is it you're going to a wedding or you, oh no just you're just going to palm springs oh you want something colorful okay uh then then it takes it away from oh what am i going to sell what what uh, all that angst of about me uh, what, what 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 am i no if you if you concentrate on the other person then what, what do they need and how can I help? If I have it, I, I can help. And if I don't have it, then then maybe you can tell them, well, down the street, uh, mm -hmm. the story that you might be able to find that at and have a conversation like we do in real life. You're not a, 
you're not afraid to if somebody asks you a question on the street. You you either know how to get there or, or you don't. And and uh, so anyway, it's about that. It's how how do we just do what we do naturally? And right. say you know what that's all. That's what life is. It's just it's natural. What you said at the very beginning of what this festival is. It's about the right. truth. It's yeah. about it's about a truth and 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 for these filmmakers. That's what they're going for. They they're going down to the nitty gritty. What is, what is at the core? What what got them here? What got these people to do want to do what they're doing? Mm -hmm. And that's the exciting part because the audience, the, uh, no matter what age we're at, it's gonna mm -hmm. it's gonna inspire us mm -hmm. to go home and and you know that that pot that plant that needs to be repotted that's been over overgrown its pot we got to get it in a bigger pot and and mm -hmm. do that you know get it done instead of just thinking about it do it action take action mm -hmm. yeah. well i like to say this about your film i think you've been a little too modest about yourself but i mean the film does point it out some of the people they interviewed about you that you opened a lot of doors you you had a chance you had a lot of small parts but you kept creating with those small parts opportunities for the next generation and I, I think that's such a beautiful thing that, you know, you you were out there in the forefront and by doing what you're doing, you opened people's eyes, created opportunities. And now we have so many uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, content creators. We'll call them content creators, but, you know, actors, directors, you know, Eva Longoria, uh, Cheech and stuff like that are all part of your documentary. They're all really grateful for you opening doors. So I, I don't want that to I don't want that to be uh, missed. Because I think that's no, another you. important part of your story. I appreciate that because and the reality of that is that not only did I open a lot of doors, but I'm still opening those doors for myself. <laughs> when you do it, it's still the same. I'm still, I'm still, I got the book. I got to get it out in there. Is it an ego trip? No, I, no. People have to know they have to go to pepeserna.net. Mm-hmm. To get the book because it's not on Amazon because it's too, the size is wrong for <laughs> so I have to do all the mailing I autograph them everybody wants them autograph and, mm -hmm. and it's it's my story and it's how uh, it's 76 years in the making this is my 80th year I'll be wow. 80 years old this year and you and sir are same around the same <laughs> same age group <laughs> yeah 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 that's what I was saying when I got here it was that you know peace and love and and it was <laughs> Uh, and it it was that it was that era of peace and love that it wasn't the fifties anymore, mm -hmm. and uh, that you know that our parents grew up and they could buy a home and they could do that. It's like, and it's how it, it's not about how much money you make. It's it's about how much money can you save, how mm -hmm. much money can you save to invest, so that you can have passive income, so mm -hmm. that so that you can uh, you know retire. I, I've been, like I said, with my wife for 55 years, so she's very frugal, and it was always thrift shops. It wasn't, she hated buying stuff and still will not go to restaurants and spend a lot of money, and, and she just, I said, you know, when we're, when we're long gone, you know, our grandkids, great grandkids, they're going to be enjoying it, going to the best restaurant, and, but she doesn't care. She came up from, you know, it's the depression, the depression mm -hmm. era. That they're the parents, right? So they knew that that we learned that from them. Now mm -hmm. it's, the kids are removed from that, and it's all about what can I get fast now, especially with the way the world is. It's just yeah. you can't buy a house and you can't do this and that. But yeah, but well, I, we're running out of time. But I do want to say one more thing about you, Pepe. It's not the amount of money you make; it's the impact you leave. And if you see the movie, people will see the impact that you've left, and it's invaluable. And uh, for me, as a, as I'm very grateful that you've opened a lot of doors to create more opportunities for, you know, I think the film focuses on the Hispanic culture, but it's it's really people of color too have opportunities, and I think you've opened and, a lot of doors. Yeah, and and you know, uh, white people are, are people of color as well. Yes, yes, <laughs> right? yes. I don't, I don't want to. No, no, I know you. I know you don't because yeah. that you are. Yeah. I mean, when like I, I think I told you when mm -hmm. I, I spoke to you on the telephone before we ever met face to face, 
and 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 my my vision of you was a 29 year old uh, white nerd that was uh, <laughs> you know that's that's who I was picturing. Oh. And, but and that's the way we should see each other. We should all be blind to, yeah. to uh, the the image and just know mm -hmm. the heart, uh, right. because that's that's the important thing. And that's yeah. how how can we uh, how you know the the more the more we can help others get mm -hmm. to a better place, the more we're going to help our own uh, right. descendants get yeah. there. Because the more the, uh, we can be uh, an altruistic society, mm -hmm. uh, the better off we are. And not just talk the talk, but walk the walk. Yeah, that's, that's also, the most important thing. So you can find my documentary now. It's going to be on Amazon, but it's not yet. It's a month late. But it's mm -hmm. on Apple TV and YouTube TV, and it's going to go to Voodoo. Uh, okay. Paid the money for it, so I don't know how soon that'll get out. It's supposed to be in okay. Latin America, and Mexico, but it's okay. not. And it was supposed to have been a month ago. But everybody said, "Well, you should get your money back." You should. I said, "You know, things happen. It's not. Yeah. It's going to get out there sooner." Yeah. And and I'm not there isn't anything I can do. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to be calling or what's going on and, and you know, uh, creating havoc within myself because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, my life has been too good. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, you know, it's a, it's good. So now I do a lot of motivation and you know why, because uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I wish we had more time uh, for this, but I'm very lucky we live in the same area. So we're going to catch yeah, up against anything the Anything I can do extra at the festival, you know, uh, I'll be more than glad to to help out. And I know Sean Penn is opening the festival, man. The I know. I know. Guy he is, you know. Yeah. Wow. He's done yeah. everywhere. Yeah. He's, he's got everywhere. a great documentary. So, yeah. Peppy, I'm going to have to cut it off because uh, hey. this is going to cut us off. We got the time limit on this one side. So I, I okay. apologize. But, no, Peppy, no. thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Just want to remind everyone, the uh, American Documentary Animation Film Festival is March 21st to 25th. Uh, this is, we're going to post this this week. Uh, so that's Thursday through Monday. Come on over. You can meet with Pepe and learn even more about him. He has a really remarkable life and he has a really uh, huge impact. And I'm just really grateful he took the time to talk with me. Um, go online, get your tickets. We got a lot of great films. There's another great film called The Pursuit of Equality. 20th anniversary um, screening as when uh, Mayor uh, Gavin Newsom, our governor, was mayor of San Francisco, and he issued same-sex marriage license uh, 20 years ago and, and, and brought that uh, and led the charge in, the, in, in a modern-day civil rights battle. So that's another one we should all check out. Pappy, nice. thank you so much. Thank much you. Much love. Thank you so much for doing this, and we will catch up soon, okay? Thank you very much. All right, thanks, Pepe. Yes.